Yo, what's going on guys? Good morning. The sun just kind of rose. We're getting this little morning air coming in. And I'm walking up to one of the coolest things I've ever seen, exploring abandoned buildings. I'm in front of an abandoned United States military helicopter. It looks like something like Vietnam era. I'm sure there's some military historians in the comments that'll let me know. But check this thing out. Doesn't have the uh, the rotors on top, but this thing is so cool. So the grounds that we're on, as you can see behind me, I'm walking away from the helicopter. What I'm walking to right now is going to blow your mind. The grounds to what we're walking on right now was once a military, it's still owned by the United States Army, but the part that we're in right now was a firing range around the Vietnam era. If I look over to my right, we have a bunch of houses they probably used for training, going through, search searching houses and whatnot back in the day. Doesn't look like they do too much of it anymore, but if you can make out what I'm walking to right now, you're about to have your mind blown. A car just stopped in the middle of the road. Yeah, yeah he's just parked there. The guy was driving and it looked like he saw me and then he pulled over to the side of the road. Like immediately. You see his lights? Is he coming this way? I think he's coming this way. He's just kind of parked at the end. Oh no, he's moving. You could literally hear gunshots in the background from the military. Right there is where we see is actually a police officer. We're hiding behind this brush, and I can't tell if he sees us or not. He just kind of posted up over there. We're gonna hit the backwoods and see if we can creep up on that tank without being seen. If you hear that in the background, we're currently going through the woods to find this abandoned tank with gunfire in the background. And it looks like we're creeping up to it right now. Wow, look how big that, I've never been this close to a tank before. Like I said, if anybody knows what year this could be from, any history on tanks or military stuff, let me know what year you think this is from. Let me know the price. Just to find this stuff in the open is crazy. You can see the helicopter over there in the distance. And we have the shooting houses over there. That's where you sit in, in the tank. That's so 
so cool. You can barely see anything in there, but you can see enough. That's so cool. I'm gonna go into this little house. Just insert. I'm just really trying to look for shell casings. I think that'll be something cool to find in here. But for the most part, this place is pretty gutted. We're gonna try to look up, because I think that's where the gunner would be. There'd be multiple gunners out the window and whatnot if this is a Vietnam era helicopter. But we're gonna try to look up top. And uh, first we gotta try to go up top. I think a gunner could be up here, not sure. Wow, but I'm on top of a helicopter right now. Crazy. So they have a little bed seating arrangement for either the injured or people just in here. So that truck right down there speeding away just told me to leave the property. They said military people are on their way to the site. So I guess that's my time to get out of here. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. It was a little small explore, but something this cool. I cannot not put it on YouTube. It's too it's too golden to to mess up on. So anyway, hope you guys have a good day. Peace out. And see you next time.